Okay, here's your quick tip. We had a request on the Facebook forum uh, for brush strokes, quick tip on brush strokes. Now there's a broad subject, lots and lots and lots of things to know about brush strokes. But there are certain fundamentals that I think are very important. So let's do this quick tip on what I think is the most fundamental thing about using the brush. And then down the road we can do a, a occasional quick tips to show other things that you want to know about how to use the brush. This is the most fundamental. Your brush is your tool. A brush is equivalent to a golfer's club. There are certain ways that you can use it that will work in your favor. Other ways you can use it that will work against you. Now, <clears throat> one thing I, I would like to advise you is never do this. Not with a brush drop. You limit yourself so much when you're doing that. This holds the brush way down close to its bristles like that. That's working against you. What I do advise is that, is that you use the golf uh, the you use the brush the same way a golfer uses his, his club. You have certain strokes that are long strokes, and so the, those very long strokes, just like the golfer's uh, the golfer's drive. If you uh, you have other strokes that are going to be slightly uh, slightly shorter, like the golfer's pitch, you're going to be having other strokes that are even shorter than that would be like the golfer's chip. Then you're going to have little strokes like the golfer's putt. So um, the main thing is that you're coming from your shoulder, elbow, and wrist, not fingers. The fingers hold the brush. The other thing, uh, and, and also hold the brush as far out uh, towards its end as you can be comfortable. And I usually, as you've noticed, I usually start about the center of the brush like this. But then as I get further into it, finishing the painting, the brush, I, my hand creeps further down the end of the brush. And I give some distance between me and the painting so that I can actually see what's going on. So I, I would uh, I'd like for you to try uh, this exercise I'm going to show you uh, to, to enable you then to um, use the brush in these four ways. Now, you uh, get the brush, pick up, it doesn't matter what brush, this is an oval, uh, a filbert, it's an oval shaped brush by the way, and we have the flats and the, and the and, um, very other, various other uh, shapes and so on of brushes. Doesn't matter what kind of brush you use on this one, just uh, one that is, let's say, your favorite brush. So first of all, find a comfortable place down the handle. Uh, at least, well, two hand spans. Uh, down from, from the bristles of set. Then load the brush. Now when you load the brush, load it from both sides and get plenty of color in it so that you can you can actually see the color. Now here's the practice stroke. Try stepping back so that you are a full arm's length distance from your palette and try uh, push the brush against the palette, let it bend a little bit and try pulling a long stroke with coming from your shoulder and uh, only your shoulder where there is nothing bending except your shoulder. There's your drive. Then another one, another uh, exercise to practice. Do this lots and lots of times. Do it until it feels natural. Until you feel like, um, well, for example, here's a good thing to do. Load that brush and, and write your name with a drive stroke, what I would call a drive stroke. Just write your name. Uh, try to actually do some things where it, the, the, the movement is coming from the shoulder. All right, let's just do a couple of other things where you have a shorter movement, you have then a bend to your elbow. You still are holding the brush like this. You have a bend to the elbow and a bend to the wrist. This one, this, for this one, it's a good one to practice um, making letters. So you might say, or making numbers, you might say try to make a two where you're bending your wrist, you're bending your elbow and your shoulder, but you're not, you're not um, controlling the stroke with your fingers. Just try doing that. Uh, other numbers, any numbers you want to use, just, just uh, to get the movement, to feel the movement in the stroke. And then for <clears throat> what you would call a, uh, a um, you might call a chip, the golfer's chip. Try making some short strokes where you, let's see if I can form this, where you let, uh, allow the brush itself to form the shape of the stroke. Watch this, see? Where you just uh, turn the brush in your hand like that, 
and allow the brush to make the shape of the stroke. You can come here. A slight turn of the hand allows the brush to shape the stroke. Then one other, and this might be equivalent to what we would call the golfer's putt, where the, where the golfer barely hits the ball to try to guide it into the hole. And that would be, um, if you will load both sides of the brush and just on the tip of the brush, just make a very short and thin line, like that, see? Very short, thin line. You're not giving much pressure to that. You're not pushing down like that. But you're working only on the tip. You have the belly, which is the back side of the brush, and you have the tip, which is the end of the brush. And those, those are your two mark makers. So if you practice those exercises, get real comfortable with them, and then try actually using the exercises in doing a painting, I think you'll find that that is probably one of the best quick tips I could give you.